Part 1. White Clouds. Red Wolf Moon. The Flame in the Darkness. Hoarfrost now graces treetops and open fields alike, and an icy chill blown in from the north of Fargus blankets the land. All of Fodland's creatures begin to settle in for a long winter. The setting sun bathes the full winter coat of every wolf in a foreboding scarlet glow. Hunters can now spread the word that the red wolves are back on the prowl. Received 5kg from the Church of Saros for um, monthly activities. You curious to know what Pedro is doing? Let's go for a visit, why not? Hello there, Petra. It's very late, so, uh, what are you doing here? What are you doing? Please take my apologies. I lost time while I was training. There are not many chances for real fighting here. My body is more weak than it was. Weaker, I mean. I will keep training now. I hope your night is good. You should get some rest. I believe you're overdoing it. I need to have more training. There are things that I have not done yet. Things that have to be done. For the future. I have to try with hardness. Training, studying, socializing. I will not always be having time to do those things. And speaking the language of Fodlin, I worry I will never be doing it just right. Why do you try so hard? Why? Because... <laughs> The position of Bridget is weak. Fodlin and Dagda are big. Bridget is a small island in the middle of them. Bridget has great beauty, but little power. We will not have, uh, will not survive unless we get more strength. I will lead Bridget, and so I have responsibility. I have to have more strength than anyone. It doesn't have to be that way. Having more strength than anyone might be un... Uh, impossible. But I have to give it my best try. I am an ally of everyone, and I have belonging at the Officer's Academy. That is also why I try with hardness. You can always be counting me. I mean, counting on me. But you should know that one of these days will be when I return to Bridget. Before that day... Do not try stopping me from trying. And please, keep watch... watching over me. With you, I can try with more hardness than I could alone. Alright, uh, B-level support. Now for the church. That's what we're dealing with. Is there no chance it's an infectious disease? There are no absolutes in medicine, but the chances are extremely slim. Restless movements, fits of violence, becoming bedridden, or even impossible to wake. With symptoms that varied, there are only a few possibilities. It's either a mixture of poisons or magic, and dark magic at that. You're talking about Ramire Village, aren't you, Manuela? Oh my, if it isn't Gerald. Tell me, what was the first thing you heard? Everything, after you mentioned that it's not likely an infectious disease. My child and I owe the people of Vermeer Village. If something's happening there, we must help them. We scouted the area ourselves. Speak with the Knights, hear what they have to say. I must go. Thank you for your help, Manuela. You know, I'm more than willing to go with you to Remire Village. After all, I owe you my life. If you'd like, I bet we could even manage the mission all by ourselves. Just the two of us. <laughs> well, that's nice of you, uh, but I'm afraid not. Professor, a bit of a tease, are we? 
A girl could get used to this side of you. Nice try, but I'll be going to the village as well. Enough nonsense. It's time to move out. <sighs> as you like. Goodbye, Gerald. Goodbye, Professor. I'll be in my office making preparations. What about you? If you have the time, it would be helpful if you could go ahead and talk to the Knights. Hey, what's wrong? I, I just got a little dizzy. I'm okay. If anything feels off, return to the infirmary. No need to just grin and bear it. Got it? Ugh, head. Ugh, what could have caused such dizziness? I felt it too. Actually, I felt that way before. When we first met? Well, either way, we are starting off as instructing, alright. So we'd have a run around the monastery first, but no. Alright, who's up for what? Dimitri, yeah? I might have you go into some sword skills, but I also could have you... I was hoping to get perfect on that, just so you can get this out of the way. That was helpful. Good job, you know, a B-plus in horseback riding, but you got nothing for it. Uh, I'm gonna give you some sword training. Because with that, he could potentially, if he's not already, become a hero. Felix, what are we doing with you? Putting you in swords, and you're honestly very good with them. Don't know what else I'd want to do other than maybe magic. Very close to being a B plus in swords. I think I'll hold off though. I think I'll give you some. Yeah, let's give you some extra magic. Wanna be perfect? Thank you. Thorns, which would be great. Of course. However, you can't use that without a natural magic based class, so yeah. Ash! I really see no reason not to just stick with bows. Like, maybe horseback riding, maybe flying. I think I just see in horseback riding, and still not getting anything out of that one. Maybe a little bit of heavy armor, see if you can get that skill that makes you take less. Oh. Sorry. And soul. It's alright. No, he likes to be criticized. Got it. Sylvain, what are we doing with you? I guess I'm... Well, hold on. How about we get you... I thought they... The more authority. Got it. All right. Uh, and how about we put you in some axe skill? In case it's ever needed. I, I got two points left. And, yeah, Cyril, here we go. Uh, X and heavy armor. Let's give you some more heavy armor skill. I... Oh. I... Still, to me, it seems like someone that would not really like praise. And yeah. Uh, I guess I'll give it to Happy just because I have been using call. You have a thing in axes. You're a freaking wizard. Why would you have a skill or someone to learn in axes? Whatever. I swear this game sometimes just makes no sense. Um, the do and Cyril. How about you two work together? Also, goals. I want to say everybody should be fine. If I double check, yeah, you're getting magic. It's been a little bit of time, so I don't remember what everybody was up to. Professor, could you explain? Sure. What is up? I'm kind of terrified to walk the monastery grounds at night. I'm unnerved how dark and quiet the place gets. How could I conquer my fear? Sing a song. If you make some noise, it won't be quiet. Think of it as training for night marches. Make sure you're always carrying a torch. Ah. Uh, well, singing the song to your head would make it so, like, you're trying to, like, ignore it. But that would make you open to a thing. Think of it as training for night marches would be not a bad idea. Uh, but also making sure you always carry a torch. It was great for the actual mission aspect because of the fact that torches give you a lot more extra line of sight. Think of it as training for the night marches. Oh, I see it now. I don't know if that was the best option, but he accepted it. 
Uh, Lance has a reason to go writing. A reason, uh, writing for Valkyrie. Sure, why not? Oh, something else is going on today. Eloise would like to speak to me, all right. Hello, Professor. You're really on the move today. A lot to get done, I take it? I'm happy to help. Uh, tell me, is there anything I could do to lighten your load a bit? Talk to the knights. I appreciate the offer, but... Oh, surely there must be something. Don't be shy about asking for help. We're practically Maybe you could train the, uh, the students in sword combat? Cloth. I was raised by Gerald just as you were, so we should have no trouble getting along. Wait, you were raised by Gerald? Huh? Did I not mention that? How thoughtless! What an embarrassing gaffe! My parents died when I was small, and I came to live in the monastery. It was an aimless existence. But sometimes, a knight would pass by, wearing magnificent armor. That knight was Geralt. And the first time he laid eyes on me, he made me his squire. What was he thinking, huh? Yeah, that sounds like Geralt. <laughs> no kidding. I don't think I'll ever fully understand his logic. Later, I heard that the squire preceding me had died of a terrible plague. Ooh! I looked a bit like him and was about the same age, so... Gerald thought me a suitable replacement. A little nutty, old Gerald, there's no doubt about that. Quite a character. All that was more than 30 years ago. No time flies. 30 years? So, do you know his age? Actually, I'm not entirely sure. You never asked him? Never came up. Well, Gerald hardly seems to have aged since then. In fact, over drinks he once told me, uh, <laughs> Perhaps that's a story for another day. At any rate, that's Gerald for you. One of a kind. I don't think there's anyone else quite like him. Probably not. Right. Well, now you've heard my whole story. I hope that you understand now why I feel such a strong sense of attachment to you. If you're ever in a bind, just give me a holler. I'll help however I can. Thanks for offering, but I can handle myself. Indeed, indeed. <laughs> well, I'll uh, let you get back to it. But truly, if I can take anything off your plate, don't hesitate to let me know. Level C support, all right. Oh my god, everybody has something going on today. I see. Ooh. So you'll be staying here for some time then. Honestly, I'm surprised. I've heard it's been a few years since you last donated to the church. That was merely because of the financial situation of my territory. I assure you it has nothing to do with my dedication to the church. By the way, Dimitri, isn't Edelgard currently enrolled at the Officer's Academy as well? Yes, she's in the Black Eagle House. I don't believe she has any plans to leave anytime soon. Why not pay her a visit? I may do just that. It's nice to stay in touch with my dear niece every now and then. Of course, I'm also delighted that I was able to speak with my nephew as well. Whether through marriage or otherwise, family is family after all. Of course. The feeling is mutual. Professor, if you were watching, you should have made your presence known. Sorry, uh, who, who was that? That was Lord Arendell, the regent for the Empire. He is also Edelgard's uncle. Okay, he called you his nephew? My stepmother was his younger sister. We are not related by blood, but he is technically my uncle. Hmm. So, you and Edelgard? Yes. My stepmother was Edelgard's birth mother. Edelgard and I are siblings by marriage. We can so, delve into that topic another time. For now, let's make preparations to investigate what's happening in that village. Well, that makes oh, things dear. awkward. The princess of the empire and the kingdom's prince are kin. How very odd. 
<sighs> so that's why he's worried about her. Although I do find it odd as well. They likely harbor knowledge they do not wish to share. Oh yes, I'm sure of it. But I suppose we must wait until the time of truth arrives. In any case, about this Arendelle. You've heard that name before, correct? It rings a bell. Was it in the library? Or in the office? In the office? <sighs> no, it wasn't the library. Ugh, your memory is worse than mine. Yes, my memory is awful. The library. We came across that name within the library, right where the prince had been. Don't you recall? I thought that Arundel had died. And yet, not so. He seems alive and well. I wonder what the prince had hoped to learn from reading of his uncle's charity. So many things the prince has yet to tell. I'm How so long ago, from my point of view. I've had as long as it has been for the main character, so yeah. Oh my god, we made it past two days without something happening. It's Lindahurst's birthday! Alright, have some tea. Um, how about some mint? I am happy that you invited me, even though it interferes with my nap time. Well, oh, shut up. <laughs> you don't need naps all the time. This is gonna be a very long episode. So, a new gambit, the idea relationship cats. Agreed. I hate when my old cycles go on my street. Anyways, books you've read recently, Monastery Mystery School Days. Books you've read? All right, he's drawn to the conversation. That's awesome. Agreed. Equipment upkeep, past laughs, things that bother you. Lovely. Oh, very nice. Crest versus nurture. Which causes a noble's personality disorder? There's a research project, eh? Agreed. What a perfect tea time. Ah, uh, observe. Pose, pose, pose. You think? Professor? How's this? Alright, let's just end it. That was delicious. It's so it's creepy. To relax. Well, I'm off to catch a nap. I'm sure you are. Well, then I got some extra charm, so little Linhart. Hmm. I am a here is the Alright, only good. I was hoping for a little bit out of you two, but okay. I understand right. more every Fire! This isn't so hard. There we go, minus some weight. And that's all she wrote. Got something going on this month and something going on next week. Uh Tales of Red Canyon, True Chivalry, Cursed Relic. This has requested for you. Okay, so this is just more stuff going on. Aye, aye, aye. Uh, I believe next week, Grandma's deciding. Yeah. Uh, I'm probably not going to worry too much about that, if I'm going to be honest. How that one works is that... Magic is spread across the land, causing medical creatures to spring to life. Perhaps one such beast now stalks the field of battle. It essentially means that one of the giant monsters will be out and about in a particular battle. Uh, I'd rather worry about getting all the extra stuff done, if I'm going to be honest. The Tales of the Red Canyon, True Shuri, and a Cursed Relic, maybe? I don't know. If there's another thing that has to be unlocked, then I'm not gonna worry about that. Either way, let's check the marketplace real quick. I wanna check... Yes, the advan intermediate seals can now be bought indefinitely, but advanced seals are now available for purchase. Allows the unit to take certification exams for an advanced class. And considering my guys are pretty much all at like 19, 18, uh, we're gonna want a bunch of these, and it's just a shame that we can only get three. Also, steel shields! Upgrade from the iron shield. Three weight for three protection. A weighty steel shield offering strong protection. Great for people who have that minus three to their weight. Essentially means that they're carrying that for free. And that seems to be about it for that. Uh, for the armory, anything new? I don't think so. Oh yes, silver weapons are now available. Alongside a Killing Edge and a Leaven Sword. Almost Slayer, so yeah. Almost definitely now open to us. Civil Lances, Killing Lances. Because I did get a little bit of, um... I don't want to say nagging, but, uh... I did get... 
someone upset that I was still using, like, the basic stuff. I was still using the training items and, like, iron instead of using steel. And in my defense, uh, I did it because I was... One, it's because I'm like, oh, if I'm not gonna kill them, why am I gonna waste buying, like, a silver lance if I can't kill them in one blow? The second one is the weight of, say, nine weight from a silver lance compared to the six of a iron lance. Although silver is better because of the fact that it... It weighs less than steel, so 11 compared to 9, and has more damage alongside better accuracy. Same accuracy as a iron weapon, but with... This one has more than double the damage. Just need to make sure that you have enough skill in the weapon to actually wield it. So, you need a B in the selected weapon to be able to use a silver item or C for killing. Oh, we also got the horse slayer. Hand axe, short axe, same thing different damage, different weight, and all that. Hammer, maces... No, uh, longbows. I don't know if you can get those normally throughout the game normally. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can normally find them, uh, in the market, but yeah. Also, the thing to keep in mind is the battalions. New months, so there's probably some new battalions to be picked up. Like, but again, you need to make sure they have somebody that actually has the appro appropriate level, which most of my guys do not. Like, if you go up to me, I'm at C, and so is Dimitri. But D, E, D, well, it makes sense, he's never using them. D, 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 C, D, well, D plus, E, D, D, E plus, E, C plus, like, yeah. I don't have a lot of abilities on actually using battalions. I mean, part of it is because you need to really use them to get more out of it, but, like, you know what I mean. So, like, most of my guys would be stuck using these D-rank... ...battalions, and only a few people would be able to use, say, these C-rank C ones. And... I'll worry about these later on. Probably on my own time. I just want to go out and explore the monastery. Also... I did all the supports! Why are there even more supports now? We didn't even do anything! I did do all- yeah, I did all these! I know I did! Whatever. That's gonna be the end of this episode. Let's just explore for right now. Because there are 14 items for us to be found out and about this month. So first off, before we do anything, how about you- how- Sosis, how are you doing? I do not know why it is so, but being here makes me feel quite... Unwell. I am so sleepy and a bit. It is a struggle merely to stay conscious. Are you feeling the same? Mm, I am. And yet, it feels familiar. As though pulled from a corner of my memory. From a time long ago. I simply cannot fathom it. Alright, uh, before we, like, truly really delve into our search... Well, I guess one I'll be going down to... Uh, to Abyss to see what I can get down there. But if you're using the Golden Deer, you can find an item for Claude. It is called a mi Mild Stomach Poison. It is found in the Golden Deer's classroom. If you're with the Black Eagles or the Blue Lions, you will not find that. Uh, do you want to load in, ma'am? Want to help me? There we want go. Want to help me out with my magical research? I just need to open you up and have a look inside. No, thank no? you. Huh, well, would you lend me a few hairs at least? Creepy. Uh, hey you, listen up. I've got something to report. Mr. Backup doesn't come by anymore, which is fine. Not incredibly rude or anything. Nope, just fine. Hey, have you ever killed anyone? Yes. But only bad people, right? Yes. You look scary, but you're actually not so bad. Pardon he me. bought it. You get your hands on something valuable that you can't get on the surface? What is it? Money first, friend. How much you got? Ah, no, let me stop you there. That won't be enough. Maybe next time. See you around. 
Hmm? Whoa, what? Interesting. I have almost $40,000, so I'm surprised. I wonder what he's selling. Probably not good. Hello there. Chatterbox, what's wrong with you? Go home. Wow, rude. Sorry, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, you look awful. Get some rest, okay? Sleep is really important when you're feeling down. Yuri? I can't shake the feeling that what went down in Remire Village is something other than a plague. I guess it's best not to go sticking our noses in it, unless they get cut off. You can't ignore what happened. Don't go and make me worry about you, friend. You're looking paler than usual. Stop pushing yourself so hard. All right, what's in the scrap heap? An iron lance? An iron sword that's mostly broken. All right. And you, Constance. The news of the affair at Remire Village has reached me. The situation seems rather dire. Any threat to the lives of the common folk must be met with swift action. I cannot agree more. You share my views? That speaks well of you. You have more than a commoner share of integrity. Given your concern, would it not be appropriate for you to depart rather than idling the time away? Uh, I will. I got work to do first. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Winning the battle was great and all. The after party was a complete letdown. I guess I get it. There were some younger students around and all that. But still, what a waste. We needed some fun juice. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, it was still a fine time. Okay, uh, I looked up, and from what I can tell, it's nothing but flavor text at one merchant. He won't actually sell you anything, so nothing to be worried about. Or if it is, it is so extremely steep that it is ridiculous. Need something, Professor? I was just asking Monica here to be less demanding of Lady Edelgard's time. Need some? I was. Oh, I was trying to talk to the lady there, Hubert, but all right. Hmm. Hello there. Hello. This, this is my first time working with the Gerald, the legend known across the ages as the Blade Breaker, and I get to see him with my own eyes. That means I have to try my absolute hardest. The <sighs> do. I'm curious to see how you do with this. Oh my god, I have to bring in Felix. I will break you. Ah! Had to be done. Ah! Sufficient. Had to be done. Give up. Had to be done. To do my man. Had this in the freaking bag. Didn't need, he didn't need no healing whatsoever. He only took damage like the final blow. Good job, man. Like, seriously, good job. Ooh, what did he find? Sweet apple blend. And that's not all. I also found... Repellent powder. A powder derived from insect repellent flowers. It probably belongs to someone who hates bugs. Repellent powder would belong to Constance. All right, what do I find over here in the bushes? A still life picture. A still life painting that features an unusual flower. Belongs to someone who is fond of art. A still life picture. Belongs to Bernadetta. Well, makes sense considering the sound right outside our room. What is it? Uh, sorry, I've, um, I've got a cold. Well then, get well soon. Um, thanks. I was hoping she'd at least accept that one, like that I accepted her, uh, thing. Anyways, uh, is this still, like, picture yours? I've been looking for this. Thank you so much. Wait, well, looking too hot. It was found right outside your bedroom. 
Ooh, in Leone's room, the Wilderness Survival Guide. A practical guide for surviving the great outdoors without the convenience of civilization. It offers advice and techniques on many subjects, including hunting and gathering, setting up camps, and securing securing portable water. You can almost hear the calls of the wild. Alright, in front of the garden, we find ourselves a well-used hatchet. A hatchet with a wide variety of potential uses. It belongs to someone who frequently walks outside. A well-used hatchet belongs to Cyril. Hello there, Professor Manuela. I know you figure medicine and magical healing are two ways to do the same thing, but it's way deeper than that. Medicine is all about preventing infection and suppressing symptoms with, well, medicine. That's probably obvious. But magical healing is focused on closing up wounds faster, raising a body's vital energy, stuff like that. That is good to know. I like it when you're gonna add a little bit of extra meat and substance to a magic rather than just saying it's magic, get over it. My father was here. Hey, Professor, did you see that my father came by during the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? He left soon after, but I saw him talking to Edelgard first. I wonder what they could have to talk about. Hmm. Empire business, perhaps. Yes, that would make sense. He is the Minister of Military Affairs, after all. Still, though, I could have sworn those two didn't get along. Hmm. Then something might be up. Anyways. I would like to do some gardening if you would be so kind. First off, what do I got? Some yellow flower seeds, some weeds, I guess I can just eat. Rose, red flower se uh, seeds, white veron. I'm finding a lot of these upgrading um, items, and I thought they were supposed to be a lot more rare than I've been finding, though. So I don't know. But odd. Anyways, more flowers, please. Yes. Well, if we're not gonna. Well, it says predicted. I guess I could have tried using something to get a better result. Whether or not the result would have been satisfactory would be up to debate. But yes, I've been finding a lot of these items that actually do increase your stats. If I actually go to my inventory real quick. Okay, no, it isn't the items. I got so many things. Seraphim robe, energy drop, spirit dust, speed wing, goddess icon, talisman, rocky bodok, premium medical herbs, speed carrot, miracle bean, and right verona. I really should probably be using these. I just been, I just uh, how I always do with things when it comes to like these upgrade items. I, I always usually save them for like the very end, which usually just meant oh my character or characters are now went from being overpowered to being super overpowered. Ah, uh, oh well, we'll deal with things later. Hello there. Good day, Professor. Good day, Mar Marion. Well then, I should go. If you think that is the best, then all right then. Bonan, what are you doing in here? From Meyer Village. Is that not where you met Edelgard? If you had not been there, something terrible could have happened. Did one of the house leaders know that mercenaries were staying in Remire Village? I wonder. It will remain a mystery for now. All we can do at this point is speculate. All right, I found nothing else in the dormitory, so... No. Seems like everyone's catching a big fish today. Um, okay. Insect love, eh? Uh, I'm going to catch me some mighty fish. Just you wait and see. I didn't catch a single fish last month, but this month, oh, this month. Maybe you're doing something wrong. I'm casting my line just as the captain taught me all those years ago. You're going with the captain to investigate Ramaya Village soon, aren't you? It feels like so long ago that you two came here. At the same time, it feels like yesterday. Anyways, what do we got over this way? A fallen gold coin. An unusual gold coin engraved, engraved with mysterious letters. It probably belongs to someone who likes collecting coins. That would belong to Eloise. And an old map of Enbar. An old map of Enbar probably belongs to someone with a connection to the Imperial capital of the past. The old map belongs to Flane. Hello there. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I meant to talk to I'm you. I'm worried about Remire. That affliction is a little too mysterious for my liking. 
I'm pretty sure it's not normal. I've heard it's not an ordinary disease. I heard it's the work of a cursed specter. What? Ah, oh, come on, don't tease me. But what if it really was something like that? How could we hope to stop it? Through the awesome power of teamwork. Uh, you're going with. I mean, my sword. Teamwork. We'll handle it with my sword. Anyways, uh, is this your coin? Oh, this is mine. I thought it had vanished. Thanks. I owe you. Not a problem. Hello there. How are you faring? I guess well. Morning, go gatekeeper. Greetings, professor. Nothing to report. Oh, except that Tomas departed the monastery and has yet to return. Consider that reported. He's Thank you for the information. He's been gone of time before and has always returned, so I'm not too worried. Still, I wonder what in the world he's doing out there. I hear ya. Ooh, what do we got over this way? Ah, uh, just some Verona. And also, a pond snail. Hi there. Anna, what are you up to? Hey, Professor. How's I'd love to catch you? Yeah, all the usual stuff out of you, sad to say. I wish you had some more dialogue. Ah, Catherine Shamir. Hold that thought. You picked up a book of... Prestonical Mysteries? It looks valuable. Someone might want this. Maybe you should ask around. A book? Uh, introducing some obscure series about Crest. Someone with a passion for this topic might want this. Well, that would probably be either the Professor or maybe, uh, what's his face? Sleepyhead. Anyways, you two! We are short handed. The chaos continues. Of the four or five years since I started here, this is certainly the busiest. It was four. I've been here five. Ah, what's a year here or there? Don't be petty now, Shamir. You count your enemies the same way. If I take care of them quickly, what does it matter how many there are? Oh, sorry. We didn't mean to ignore you, Professor. As you were saying, it's been a busy year. There never seemed to be enough hands for the work. That reminds me. Do you have that thing? If you do, we want it. Want? No. We need it. Give it to me, not her. Hey now, I'm the one who brought it up. We may be friends, but that's just rude. Uh, they want a two-toned whetstone. Unfortunately, I do not I have, have that. Shamil wants a two-toned whetstone. It appears to be a precious item. So if you give to her, you might get something in return. A silver bow, some black sand steel, and a whetstone. Oh, if we talk to uh, if I, as you were Catherine. Want? Hey now. Hey you, do me a favor. Catherine wants a two-toned whetstone. She'll give us a silver sword, some black sand steel, and a whetstone. Do you have that thing, Professor? Well, I will keep my eyes open. Oh, what are you two doing over here? You know, Professor, the tournament fish, and the meal we indulged in after the battle of the eagle and lion? Why, all of the food I've eaten in this monastery has been absolutely delectable. Every last bite of it. <laughs> food really is the only thing you think about, huh? Hardly. I think about all sorts of things. Oh, like tomorrow's menu, for instance? Ow. Rude. I have a request. My father has been curious about your... Confrontants? At the fighter. After all I've seen, I don't see the need to test you, but he insists that you show me your skills in a mock battle with troops from House Fargus. Participate in a mock battle with the students of House... No, so sorry, Fa Falgus. Getting hunting daggers, some wood steel, and the kingdom use. Something to prove. What? That's a fancy get up. Looks like almost like a prince. <laughs> Anyways, a treatise on etiquette, a book detailing the etiquette of high society. It probably belongs to someone who's acutely aware of their bleh, nobility. A treaty of etiquette belongs to Lawrence. Hey. Hello there. It was unsettling to say the least. When news reached us of the disturbance, ours was the first unit dispatched to Remire. We had renowned scholars and accomplished magic wielders with us. In all honesty, I was scared witless the entire time. For all we knew, it was an epidemic like the rumor suggested. Rumors aside, that place had an eerie air about it that chilled you right to the bone. All this month, 
His Highness has been going out late into the night. He will not speak of it to me. Professor, do you happen to know anything? Um, well, as I recall... Lord Arundel is here? That may well explain it. His Highness's headaches have been growing steadily worse. I would prefer that he retire to bed early. Edo God, hello there. They say that things rarely, if ever, go according to plan. Still, plan we must. After all, if we don't effectively force things to go our way, nothing will be achieved. How about you, Professor? Are you leading the life you envisioned for yourself? Uh, I'm sure he's, he could say he's not, but I don't think he would say he's hating it. Hey, Professor, can I get your advice on something? I just don't know what to do anymore. What's up? I used to think they were the best, but now I can't even stand looking at them. It's okay to be worried. Time heals all wounds. But worrying about it won't solve my problems. What if I can never eat fish again? <laughs> Ooh, what do we got over this way? Here are the saints. All right. And for you, the faculty and knight mixers today. Such a menu of mature flavors for professors and knights. Effects and are enhanced when dining with professors and knights. All right. Manuel and Cetus, would you like to join me? This is a wonderful dish. You could sell this in any restaurant in the capital. The flavor is nostalgic to me for some reason. Hmm, I'd like some more. Avon has grown stronger. Ah, Dorothea, hello there. I don't usually check this place out too often. I'd be surprised if I miss some stuff. Battle of the Eagle and Lion. Did you get a special reward? I certainly feel like I earned a special reward. Don't you, Professor? Mmm, so I got nothing to give you. Professor? Nope. Hello there. Do you have time for a request? I've been summoned to a tournament. All you need to do is participate in the tournament yourself and win, right? Professor, I've been getting You've been getting along really well, almost too well with the students lately. Friendships between teachers and students is wholly unacceptable. We will hear you defend your actions in the tournament. All right, shoot. Quest of conduct, which I'm assuming means yes. It actually, oh, I know I could just do that. Uh, it does mean that they want me to do this. Uh, I've been challenged to defend myself, okay. I get a brave sword for doing this. Recommend level, level of 20 or higher. I have more than enough faith in my abilities. Uh, that being said, uh, making a save is never a bad idea either. Wow, I can do like no damage. This guy's defensive as all heck, good god. No, I lost because I couldn't finish him off, which is lame because I could definitely have won that fight. Hmm. I said there was a reason I was holding on to these. I'm gonna use this one to increase my strings by one. Which should be all that I need to actually win this fight. I also would help if I had something better than a training sword. Although he's only using a training axe, I didn't realize that. I should also should have looked into my abilities because I probably had something might have had some of the counter axes, but I don't know. Looking back. Oh well. Anyways. Should I have held back? There we go. Okay, I think I need my quest to activate to actually win that fight. I didn't think about that before. Either way, it's a win. A win's a win. Oh! I'm not fighting just one student, I'm actually doing the entire tournament. Shoot. Oh, I got lucky I dodged. I didn't realize the attack power of that. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I see why they recommended... Um, really? Oh, I have no way of winning this fight, then. I can't hit him fast enough. Oh, I see why they recommended the... Uh, level 20. Dang. And I'm like... I did so well in the Battle of Eagle and Lion. Like... Alright, so yeah, we're not winning this one. 
That also explains why the uh, item is out of a brave sword. So I'll be back in another second. Okay, let's move over to the classrooms. Oh, Flane, hello there. I'm so happy to be part of your class, Professor. I honestly I'm happy to hear that. The last time I interacted with others on a daily basis like this, <laughs> it reminds me of when I was a child. <laughs> that was so very long ago now. Oh, you're still a child. How long ago? Oh, I mean, very. Very, very, very long ago. All right. Uh, anyway, I think I got something that is yours. This old map. Oh, that is mine. Thank you so much. You are welcome. And since you're already halfway up through your motivation, um... How about a sunflower? I shall take it. How about a second sunflower? I shall take it. Oh, and outside the Black Eagle House, we got a Sanctuous poster. A poster promoting Manuela, the Miracle Sanctuous. It belongs to someone who looks up to her. Well, I'm pretty sure we just saw that, but let me just make sure. The Sanctuous poster belongs to Dorothea. Who's in my classroom? Why, it's Annette. The librarian is always out and about these days. And you mean just Thomas? I had some questions about a book I'd borrowed. Ugh, now I'm so curious about where he's gone off to. He better come back soon. All right. Glasses and Hilda. Hello there. Oh, professor, the Battle of the Eagle and Lion was such good fun, don't you think? Ignatz, how long are you going to keep harping on about the Battle of the Eagle and Lion? Oh, come on. Let me gush. Did you see how the house leaders came together after the battle? What an incredible thing to witness. Harmony, even after something so hard fought. True. If they can keep playing nice, perhaps there will be peace in Fodlin after all. That'd be nice. Oh, what do we got right off the bat? The Saints Revealed! An unofficial account of the four Saints' deeds during the War of Heroes belongs to a history buff. The Saints Revealed belongs to Lindhart. Remire Village is an Empire territory, but it's still relatively close to the Monastery. Oh, but you know all about that, don't you? The story goes that it was in Remire Village that Alois found you. Lysisia, I've heard about I've it. I've heard about Remire Village from some of the knights. It's certainly troubling. If it's a contagion, we at Garrick Mock should be on the lookout as well. I don't believe it is. Oh, so, well, that's better. But I wonder what the real cause could be. Your words are oddly persuasive, Professor. Even if they're not exactly based on anything. Any chance you'd be willing to change classrooms? Oh, yes. I bet you've come to invite me to your class. What with my stupendous grades and all, I would actually enjoy being in your class quite a lot. Then oh, come join a us. Successful interaction, I must say. Please provide me with all the most challenging assignments. I want to be well equipped for the future. Very well then. Welcome to the house, Lysisia. Another student joins our ranks. Oh, what do I got all the way over here? A balanced scale, a precision tool used for measuring the weight of objects, belongs to someone in need of accuracy. The balance scale? I don't think I had this item. Yes, I'm not seeing it on my notes. Okay, I looked it up real quick, and it makes perfect sense. Who else would need a scale but Anna? Thanks for finding this. I honestly never thought I'd see it again. Ah, Dimitri. Hello there. First off, a crumbled love letter. A carelessly discarded love letter belongs to someone with a complicated love life. That would belong to Sylvain. I'm sorry to ask this of you. But I would deeply appreciate it if you would promise to keep my association with Edelgard to yourself. It is a complicated history, what she and I share. Mm, I guess I can. It's technically your Consider. way of life more than mine. Professor, tell me, is this about Remire? There are more villagers acting strangely today than yesterday. Knights have been dispatched, yet... The underlying cause is as yet unclear, and the most anyone can do is stand back and watch. It is most distressing. 
Professor, what do you think about all this? <sighs> Honey friend from the gods, perhaps? Definitely some sort of illness, but... The goddess? You have spoken near blasphemy, and I would suggest a hasty apology. There's no guarantee that those people down there worship the goddess. It's very possible it could be. Professor, what have you got there? That's... My goodness, that is just what I've been looking for. I can offer nothing more than this, but I do ask that you consider trading with me. All right. I am in your debt, Professor. Not a problem. I gained a tome of Comely Saints. I quite a new item and it looks valuable. Someone might want this. Maybe we should ask around. Oh, okay, so it's a giant fetch quest. I thought we might make it through last month in peace, but no. Another incident just had to arise, didn't it? If only this debacle had to do with crests, why, I'd have gone and dealt with it in an instant. Hey. Manuela, you have something for me? Hey, wait a minute. What you've got there, isn't that... Please, could you let me have that? Here, I'll give you this in return. All right. Fantastic. Thanks, so professor. the saints for a fire emblem. No I thought it said fire emblem. Happy this makes me. Uh, someone might want this. Oh, Lawrence, hello there. How are you feeling, Professor? You look rather ill, if you don't mind my saying so. Are you sick? If so, I would urge you not to push yourself too hard. Take some rest. Nothing is by you. What an unexpected kindness. Just my natural talent. Nothing out of the ordinary. Enough wit now. You should lie down. Ah, but first off, I believe I have something that is yours? Oh, most kind. Thank you for bringing this to me. Not a problem. Okay, hello there, monk. Mm. You do not look well. Are you sure you aren't coming down with a cold or some other ailment? Please, visit a doctor before your situation worsens. I suppose the infirmary is also an option. Though when I went there the other day, I was unable to receive medical guidance. As Professor Manuela was drunk and fast asleep on the floor. All right then. Hello there. I could use your help. The level of the letter. There's no address, but perhaps you can figure out who, the, who the writer was referred to when he said someone in her position. I know it's inappropriate to write love letters to someone in her position, but I cannot help the way I feel. It may only be, it, it may only inconvenience her, but could you deliver it? Uh, I would guess possibly Edelgard, but considering she's the highest, but that also seems like too much. I would assume definitely someone high up, but maybe not oh. that high up. Mercedes. Oh, goodness. Is something the matter, Professor? You look a little pale. I don't want to hear that from you, of all people. It's so easy to catch a cold this time of year. Like, you're paler than a ghost. Alright, what's going over here by the saints? Oh, Sedeth! What is it? I'm in the middle of my daily duties. I assume you know by now that the four saints are all important figures in the teachings of Seros. Still, I have a particular fondness for Saint Sethlene. Alright, uh, you have a quest? I have something to ask Collect of information you. about the missing students. You may find some clues around the dormitories where the students reside. Alright. Uh, I don't care too much for those rewards, but I'll do it nonetheless. What are we finding in the cathedral? Fruit preserves! Bottled fruit preserves and sugar belongs to someone who enjoys baking or eating sweets. That would be Mercedes. Oh, I never took over to have a sweet tooth. Petra! Hello there, girl. Uh, I want to make a save. Although I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. This is a place of mysteriousness. I have awareness of how much difference every part of the world is. In a place alike to this place, you can imagine the goddess of Fodlin truly existing. At times I miss those places in Bridget. At times, I am missing those places so painfully. Any chance you'd be interested in joining Your the class? Has given me great busyness right now, but no, okay. You have given me intrigue. All right, so she wants dex and writing. So, oh, oh, she wants writing. And I think I have like no writing skill at all. 
Uh, that's a lie. I have an E+. Plus. If I got up to a D, you'd be interested in it, but yeah. Um, I think the only... I'm trying to think who would even give me that. I think Eloise might be the only person that can actually get me writing skill, because I think Zetus gives me flying. Mr. Monk, what do you have to tell me? During the Red Wolf Moon, wild monsters make ready for the winter to come, stirring more than at any other time of the year. You are off for Ramire Village, isn't that right? Watch your step on that journey. May the goddess protect all of you. And with you too. Alright, so, three notes today. I wonder if I'll ever find a partner who understands I don't mean any harm when I flirt with others. Does someone like that actually exist? Have you considered giving up flirting? That's a dream that will never come true. You're bound to meet someone open-minded someday. Not always the best, but okay. Despite my appearance, I have long wished to be a Pegasus Knight, that I may indulge in the lofty view. Yet that dream has always seemed out of reach. Can you guess why? Because heights make you uneasy, because you're afraid, because you never learn how to ride a horse. Nope. Okay, it must be heights. Uh, I've never been good at arithmetic, but I can see how it would be a great skill to have when negotiating with merchants. How do I make it easier to learn? Ask a friend who instructs you. Memorize the lesson books. Keep practicing. It has to sink in eventually. You didn't like that one. Probably help. Uh, I feel like I'm missing people. Oh, right. I still haven't gotten to the second floor yet. I thought things felt off, but I couldn't explain why. Claude? What in the world is happening in Remire Village? I hear even the knights have been dispatched. I hope it's nothing too serious. After all, that's where we first met. I have valued memories of the place. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you have memories of us getting attacked and everything. Lend her, that was the other person I could think of that wanted that may have wanted the uh I I may press a thing. Social recluse soon. My Why is life that? consists of wearing a groove in the floor between the library and the dining hall. Although I guess a real recluse wouldn't leave their room, eh? I'm gonna shut up on that one. Oh, who's in here? Hey there. I how Remire Village is faring. Hopefully we're not dealing with some new epidemic. It wouldn't be unheard of. Almost 20 years ago, a terrible plague blazed through Fargus. It even hit the capital city, taking the Queen Consort's life. Or so I heard. The whole kingdom was in an uproar over that loss. The person who saved the kingdom wasn't a doctor, but a holy woman. The fair Lady Cornelia. After that, she was awarded the honor of being a mage in the service of the royal family. She sounds like an amazing woman, but she must be pretty old by now. But hey, maybe she's aged like a fine wine. Ay, ay, ay. Anyways, is this your crumbled love letter? Oh, that's mine. Oh, thanks, Professor. You really saved the day. Hmm, who are you giving that one to? Anyways, since you're halfway there. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. Lady Rhea, hello there! Professor, do you ever wish you could return to your life as a mercenary? Hmm, I do not, for Is you. Is that so? I suppose you have become accustomed to your new line of work. This month's Pretty much doing the mercenary walk anyways. ...to outside of Garrick Mock. To Remire Village. It was in Remire that you first met Alois and the rest of his order, was it not? Half a year has come and gone since then. How quickly time passes. It's amazing, isn't it? Ah, Cyril, what are you doing here? Professor, I picked this up, but... Oh, hey, it worked out perfectly. Want to trade me what you're holding for it? Sure. Thanks, Professor. This is great. A glowing stone. Quite a new item. It looks valuable. So, uh, what's going on? The knights go out from Garrig Mock to take on all kinds of other duties. I'd sure like a job like that one day. Then again, I don't know. Serving Lady Rhea here is pretty good. Oh, hello there. Professor, Captain Geralt just told me. Remire Village is in a bad way, right? The situation there is worrying, yes. But tell me, how was your vertigo? Still a little unsteady. Are you not feeling okay? You should get some rest. Hmm. If you must go to the village, make sure you're in good health before we depart. Okay, I missed something up here. 
Poultry, not what I'm looking for. Right, right. Are you what I'm looking for? A crude arrowhead. A rough hued arrowhead, fashioned from rocks. They belong to someone who favors the bow. Leone, I believe this is your crude arrowheads. Oh, that's mine. Thanks so much for finding it. You are welcome. All right, and in the infirmary, a clean dusting cloth, an unsoiled dusting cloth that has. Clay never been used. It belongs to someone who hates cleaning. Professor Manuela, hello there. Medicine and magical medicine, but uh, so I believe this is your dusting cloth. Wherever did this turn up? Thank you for getting it back to me. And what do I got over this way? Missing student poster. A torn poster. Uh, soliciting information on missing students. It says the students disappeared a few nights ago. Mercedes, hello there. Hello, Professor. Would you mind trading it with me for this? Sure, what do you got? A glowing stone it. for the path of I'm dawn. Sure take great care of it. All right. Uh, anyways, is this your fruit preserves? Oh, this is mine. Thank you for returning. You are welcome. Uh, anyway, since you're so close. How do you feel about... So I'm gonna have more of you. Uh, a tasty baked treat. Oh my, this is great! Oh good, that was actually perfect. Thanks. Dorothea, hello there! Uh, I believe I found this poster of yours. How did you know I lost this? Thank you for bringing it back to me. Oh shoot, I missed something right here. Owl feather, alright. Uh, but I also forgot to check this room over to the side. Where I will find myself an unfinished fable! A children's fable that ends partway through. A part belongs to someone who likes writing stories. That would belong to Seteth, of all people. Well Seteth, hello there! Alright, there's a start, but there's still so much we don't know. We need to investigate Flane's case further. I will let you know if anything else happens. Sure. Uh, by the way... This unfinished oh, yes. fable. This is mine. Thank you for returning it. Lindhurt, I am so My sorry. Life. I forgot to give you your last item. The Saints revealed. Oh, thank you. I gave up hope of ever finding it. I'm really not on my A game today, cause Cyril! I forgot to give you your axe. Then again. Hey, that's mine. Thanks for finding it. No problem, kid. Marianne, hello there. Um, Professor. If it's not too much of a bother, thank you right. so much. One path of dawn for one forever. medical eye drop. All right, you. One thing of eye drops for a two-toned whetstone. There we go. All right, we have the option. Do we go for the sword or do we go for the bow? Both are valuable targets, valuable items. Uh, Shamil. You brought it, Professor? Pow, you can't even afford your own drinks. Give it here. You won't regret it. Excuse me, I asked first. Why don't we let the professor decide? Here you go, Shamil. Her? <sighs> what a letdown. You made the right choice. Here's your reward. I'll let you borrow it later, Catherine, if you quit sulking. Thanks. I did it because I'm like, oh, I can give the silver bow to my students. I don't really need a silver sword right now. I can always buy one if need be. I finally understand. <laughs> Uh, why does the questing above Rhea? Got very confused. I just understood. I didn't think it was actually for you, though, is the, uh, the main thing. Uh, the Reverend Love Letter. I appreciate this. Dang, kid. Like, when you said someone, like, of their stature, I didn't think you meant that high of stature. Impressive. Yes, yeah, so you did Thanks. it. You delivered it to Lady Rhea. This is embarrassing. However, face off. Well, thanks anyways. All right, that's all the basic stuff out of the way, other than just giving Constance her repellent. Uh, so I guess I'll just finish things off by making sure my students are happy. And I guess I can go do some fishing today. Oh, this takes me back. Go, <laughs> our bond is increased. 
That looks appetizing. I appreciate any good meat. Why don't we give the sun a shot? It is the beginning of the month. Who the take? How about Flane? Uh, I'm so glad that we have Lysisia with us, but I'm not gonna focus on her. Again, I kind of think I'm gonna focus mainly on our students, so yeah. Uh, Flane, why don't you join? Although, now I'm saying this, uh, Sedith will probably have my head. Increase the steam! Dang, hers went up fast. Flane is wound up and is feeling really good. They a little bit longer to get hers perfect. Yep, okay. I just could not get it. Wow. Oh well. At least uh, Flame gets the benefits, so that's cool. Probably could have stayed long. Yes, but Flame would have uh, become a lobster. Alright, Gerald, would you give me some writing experience? Only good. No, something for... Some, oh, something for more. Rhea, hello there. It was happening. We're gonna do the usual. Let's get this up to sea. Great! Alright. Well, I got some supports available to me, but I also need to go back down to Abyss to go give Constance her thing, so... Yes, I'm just gonna give Constance her repellent. We'll go over all of the supports, and then next time... We'll be doing some battling next week. So, uh, I think I'm just gonna sign off here. I am Jog. So long, farewell, and have yourself a good one. Until next time. Later. I can't be expected to remember where I leave. Dorothea is... You're curious how Dorothea is doing. Go for a visit. Well, I had fun today. Of course, you want to see me again, yes? Uh, of course. I'd love to, Dorothea. <laughs> well, until we meet again. Oh, hello, Professor. Were you watching that? That's a different guy than I saw you with yesterday. Yes. Is there a problem with that? Look, I know what I'm doing. My claim as a diva won't last forever, after all. I must look to the future. As a man, you may not feel so rushed about these things, but I know my beauty will eventually fade. I all feel anxiety about aging. Getting older doesn't bother me at all. You? Really? I never would have guessed. Anyway, I'm not just playing games with these boys. This is for my future. You have no right to object. I very much want to find a good partner here at the Academy. Someone who will take care of me for the rest of my life. Do what you will. Is that really what you want? Finding someone to take care of me? <laughs> of course it is. Who could ask for anything more? Anyway, I value your opinion, Professor, but I won't have you interfering with my life plans. Unless you'd like to take care of me into my old age. That'd be something, eh? How about it, Professor? Okay. I wasn't... <laughs> you aren't being serious, are you? I was just teasing. Or did you really just consider spending your whole life with me? If you did, that... <laughs> that actually makes me... It makes me happy. I had no idea you might look at me that way. You've gotten awfully quiet. You might even be blushing a bit. Have I embarrassed you? If so, I'm very, very sorry. I should be going anyway. I'll see you later, Professor. No. <laughs> Professor. Sedith. Sedith would like to speak to you. It's now a good time. Ah, there you are. I apologize for calling you in so suddenly. Please, sit. There is a matter I would like to discuss with you. 
I believe I've told you this before, but it is my responsibility to aid the Archbishop in all her duties. So, uh, what are these duties? Spiritual instruction, ceremony oversight, donation management, all of the church's many administrative tasks. I oversee not only the priesthood, but also the Knights of Seros and the Officers Academy. The Archbishop entrusts a great deal to my discretion, and I am honored by her confidence. Even when she must make decisions herself, she often seeks my counsel in advance. And yet, your appointment to a teaching position at the Officers Academy was a complete surprise to me. Not only that, but you have also been entrusted with the Sword of the Creator. I was as surprised as anyone else to learn that. Frankly, I am just not sure how to handle you. I am the Archbishop's right hand, and yet when it comes to you, I have been told almost nothing. You don't trust me? Not quite. I do find you to be a trustworthy individual, but my subjective opinion is not enough. I have a duty to be cautious. Should the Archbishop's trust in you prove to be misplaced, it is the faithful who will suffer most. First, I would like to know just how much you know about yourself. You are the child of Geralt Eisner, correct? That is what I hear. That's quite a vague reply for such a basic question. In the future, I would advise you to answer such queries with confidence. As the former captain of the Knights of Seros, Geralt is renowned throughout Fodlan. If you really are his child, then no one would voice any complaint about you joining the Knights. How long has it been since you became a mercenary? About ten years, I think. Given your youth, that hardly seems likely. Come to think of it, I have never asked your age. Just how old are you exactly? Um... Your face says it all. You truly don't know, do you? Just what was Gerald thinking, raising you this way? Given your responses thus far, I feel as though any further questions would just be a waste of our time. However, permit me to make one thing clear. Whatever her reasons, the Archbishop has placed great faith in you. Do not betray that trust. That is all. Each new ex this oh. this this I can do Still have talent, I see. I no. I oh. Sylvain, I would like your help for today's work. 
So you finally learned you can't do everything yourself? You have helped me to learn several things. I count on you, Sylvain. The result was fine, though I thought we could have aimed even higher. Agreed. Let's come up with a better plan next time. I've got it. I understand more every day. A bit more skill never hurt anyone. I did not expect to see you here, Happy. I get the feeling that you didn't come for training. Listen up, Didi. I remembered something. Remembered? Ah, does this have something to do with why you were staring at me earlier? Not ringing any bells. I stare at people all the time. Anyway, do you know Anselma? Anselma? Yes, of course. But how do you know that name? That is what my stepmother was called in the Empire. In the Kingdom, she was called Patricia. Oh, so that's what it was. I see now. What a relief. It was really sticking in my craw. Well, now that that's all settled, I'm off to bed. Just one moment. You may understand, but I most certainly do not. How did you know my stepmother? She used to visit all the time. I think she was friends with the lady who kidnapped me. Friends? Are you sure? I heard the lady helped bring her to the kingdom, but I don't really know the details. Anyway, when Anselma saw how I was being treated, she got angry, just like you. You remind me a lot of her, actually. Are we really that much alike? I'd say so. Come to think of it, you greet people in the same way, hold a book in the same way, you even get angry in the same way. It's uncanny. I share no blood with my stepmother. But to hear you say that, it pleases me greatly. She was the one who raised me. I suppose it makes sense that we would share certain mannerisms. To think that the person you mentioned was my stepmother is... baffling, to say the least. What do you mean? For all intents and purposes, my stepmother was completely cut off from the outside world. Suffice it to say, Few knew that my father had taken a second wife. Sounds... complicated. I can keep my mouth shut if you like. I would very much appreciate your silence on the matter. But thank you, truly, for all that you said. Truth be told, the union between my father and stepmother has given rise to... Uh, much speculation. But for now, what's truly baffling me is the identity of that lady you mentioned. She welcomed my stepmother into the kingdom after she fled home due to political strife. <clears throat> no, I must stop this. It's time to put an end to this discussion. Baseless speculation will get me nowhere. Oh, come on. I finally felt like I understood, and then you go and say something cryptic like that. If I can't sleep tonight, I'm blaming you. Well, if that happens, come back here and I'll keep you company. I'll be training a while yet. I wonder, could Happy's captor truly be her? Your Highness, I have a little favor to ask of you. Of course. How may I be of assistance? Well, I was hoping you could tell me about my father. I imagine he was a very different man at home than he was at work. Ah, so you wish to hear about the Gustav that I knew. As you know, he was a knight who served the royal family since my grandfather's reign. To me, he was a teacher of martial arts and tactics. He was someone I depended on since I was a small child. But he was also a very stern and strict instructor. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. He was much the same at home. He chide us if we made mistakes, whether it was with cooking or even how we spoke. Is that so? <laughs> Funny. I suppose in front of his family, he felt the need to demonstrate proper etiquette. Wait, are you saying that's not how he was around you? Even all these years later, there's something I recall with perfect clarity. It happened in the autumn of my 11th year. Before the break of dawn, he woke me suddenly. Said he'd heard a disturbance and had me grab my bow. Then he set me and a fellow pupil loose on a dark mountain. Our only directive was to go catch a deer. As you well know, autumn in the capital is very cold. Now, imagine being up on the mountain at night with no idea what might jump out from the shadows. 
<laughs> that, in a nutshell, is the Gustav I knew. <laughs> I can hardly imagine that. He was completely different with me. I recall one other defining detail. He used to speak of you at every possible opportunity. Really? What would he say about me? Are you sure you want to know? There's one story he used to tell from when you were very small. No, stop! It's probably too embarrassing to bear. Is it? Uh, perhaps. Look, I'll promise to forget the stories he told me about you if you return the favor. Deal? Yes, that seems the only thing to do. It's a promise. Hi, Dudu. I wanted to thank you again for helping me out the other day. Everything was ready in time for dinner, and we all agreed the food was really tasty. I barely did anything. That's silly talk. With just a few ingredients, you made an amazing meal. I could never have done it, no way. You deserve all the praise in the world. I still have much to learn. Truly delicious food brings a smile to people's faces. Until I see His Highness smile in that way, I will spare no effort to improve. Well, if that's your aim, you're in luck. I've seen him shovel in your food with gusto. You must be really ambitious if you're not satisfied with that meal. I'd love for you to teach me your ways. I want to be a great cook, too. Your skills are not the problem. You merely make errors of negligence. Well, sure, I know that. But how can I stop making those errors? No matter how hard I try, I always seem to mess things up. The pan explodes when I cook. I forget my purse when I go shopping. That's just how life is for a scatterbrain like me. Just the other day, I was nearly laughed off the training ground for wearing mismatched shoes. My uncle used to sigh in despair when he saw me messing something up. You simply fail to pay attention to your surroundings. Ensure the pan is on the flame and that the knives are put away properly. Look at yourself in the mirror before you go out to make certain you have what you need. Everyone makes mistakes, but yours should be easy enough to correct. That's all great advice. Thank you, Dadu. You really have a kind heart. At first I thought you were so stern all the time. Am I that imposing? Uh, well, a bit. Maybe if you smiled sometimes. All you have to do is lift up the corners of your mouth. Like this. See? I see. I will try it. 